Hi, I'm Tilly, and today we're going to be talking about Tales from Cats the Musical. Now, the original production of Cats used a type of tale that's called a wrap or a roped tale, and this style was a lot more scribbled and very sleek looking and matched the unitard's design very well. When the production moved to Broadway, a second type of tale took form, and that was a more fluffy tale. I don't know why they made this change for Broadway specifically, but I really like this type of tale, so I guess they hit their target audience. The third style is a bit more hybrid, and it's a braided tale that kind of combines the use of both styles. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do all three so you can decide which tale you like best. To follow this tutorial, you will need cording, yarn, optionally you can use a rubber band or a hair tie, as well as any specialty yarns or fabric scraps you want to include, such as organza. Let's get started! For the rope tail for Mr. Mistopheles, I used a horse lead rein that has a metallic weave as the base. I doubled the length for a thicker base and tied a hair tie at the top to make a loop for the belt. I marked where I wanted his tail to tassel at the end with tape. From there, I used yarn, both regular and homespun by Lion Brand, not sponsored, scraps of fabric, and organza as materials to tie around the base. When I got to the end, I pulled apart the fibers and gave it a quick brush using a fine tooth comb. I wanted to keep some of the fantastic metallic that's in the base into the tail, so I included it in the tassel. This is by far the fastest tail to make, and used very little material if you already have scraps on hand. Using this Victoria tail as an example of the Broadway's fluffy style of tail, I took thick cording and tied different types of white yarn all around it. I highly recommend a specialty yarn, especially for cats like Victoria, that don't have much color variation to add texture. This style is going to be even more important to make sure you're changing where you're tying the knots around the cording so that you don't end up with any bald spots. I think it's important to learn from mistakes. As a PSA, generally I do not recommend making the tail from the homespun yarn that the wigs are made out of. I tried to be economical by using the same yarn, but they shed a lot and get very matted. I had to remake the tail after about 10 wears, which isn't great longevity, especially for a live theater production. The second is weight. When deciding what type of yarn to use, be aware of the yarn weight. The body isn't used to carrying weight at the back of the waist. With the redesign, I lost some of the original grandeur, but it was causing some back pain at cons, and I think that this will be better in the long run. For the braided or hybrid style of tail, I used cording in two long cords based on the length you want. You'll lose a bit of length based on the braid, so I recommend adding about one third of your total length to the tail to account for it. I folded in half two pieces of cording and looped them at the top with a hairband. You could also use yarn. Using the length of the yarn of your choosing, I personally used nine inches, you can start to tie the yarn to your cording. 
Two of them will be wrapped individually on each side and the middle will be wrapped around both cords. If you have stripes in your tail pattern, I recommend doing large sections of each color and doing the same pattern on each strand. That way, when you braid them together, it's going to create distinct sections. You may also include different organza pieces or other yarns to add dimension. Last, braid the three strands together. You can carefully pull or fluff some of the strands out or keep it more tightly braided, depending on how you'd like it to look. And finished! Now you have some fun tales for your next theater production or cosplay. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'd love to see your projects as well, both in the comments below and on Instagram and Twitter, at Tilly Boom Cosplay. We'll see you next time!